Hello all, this is the PPT guy. Today, I bring you a PowerPoint tutorial video on 15 not so popular PowerPoint slideshow shortcuts. These shortcuts will definitely help you in your next presentation. Okay, let us get started. Number one is F5 or function F5, which will start the slideshow from the start or the first slide. Number two shortcut is shift F5, which will start the slideshow from the current slide. Shortcut number 3 is Escape which will exit the slideshow to your PowerPoint window. Most of you don't know shortcut number 4, just press B, and your slideshow will go black. If you press B again, the slideshow is back. You can do the same by pressing the period button. Shortcut number 5, just press W, and your slideshow will go white. If you press W again, the slideshow is back. You can do the same by pressing the comma button. In the middle of the slideshow, if you want to jump to a random slide, just press the number and click on enter, you will jump to the respective slide, which is our shortcut number 6. Shortcut number 7 is home. Whenever you want to jump to your first slide at any point in time, just click on the home button. See, we are on the first slide. Shortcut number 8 is end. Whenever you want to jump to your last slide at any point in time, just click on the end button. See, this is our last slide. Shortcut number 9 will be useful if you have a video in your slide. If you want to play or pause it, just press Alt P. See, the video gets played and paused. If you see the slideshow now, the mouse pointer is displayed as an arrow. We can change it to a laser which is our shortcut number 10. Click on Ctrl L, arrows become laser. You can change the arrow into a pen as well. Press Ctrl P, which will change the mouse pointer to a pen. This is our shortcut number 11 which can help write on the slideshow. You can also convert the arrow into a highlighter by pressing Ctrl I. You can highlight any part of the slide using a highlighter which is our shortcut number 12. When you have changed the mouse pointer to different things, you need to bring it back to the arrow, right? Our 13th shortcut will do just that. Just click Ctrl A. To understand shortcut number 14, we need a highlighter. Let us highlight something. Okay, then we can show or hide it, just press Ctrl M to hide the pen markings or highlighted text or objects on a slideshow. We need a highlighter again to understand the last shortcut. If you want to delete a previous highlight, just press E, which will erase or delete the previous highlight. I hope I have taught you something new today. If you learned something, hit that like button and subscribe to the PPT guy for more PowerPoint tutorials.